this Trick 72 in late summer of 2016, I was involved in a head-on car accident at 55 miles an hour. Um, so I was lucky enough to walk away from that accident, even though I was uh, still injured from head to toe. I got uh, very lucky. The other person I collided with died on the scene um, within minutes. Um, I happen to have witnesses and my car camera uh, to prove um, that I was not at fault. So um, I was lucky to have that, but uh, things could have been you know, much different. You know, what if I didn't have a car camera? What if I didn't have any witnesses to come forward? Um, what if instead of uh, one person I collided with, well, what if it was a full, a car full of people? And you know, what if uh, you know, one died and the rest were uh, severely injured and I didn't have any witnesses and it was you know my word against them and you know they could pretty much say anything you know um, you know three against one you know maybe they they're unemployed maybe they need a payday you know um, we have a very litigious society that we're living in and they could have claimed anything they could have claimed that I was reckless swerving uh, whatever and then it could have been, you know, a three against one, you know, situation, and it could have been uh, very bad for me. But uh, luckily, it didn't go that way. And this is why I think everyone, you know, needs a car camera. So, um, you know, they're pretty cheap these days. Um, so this is uh, the car camera that survived my accident, and. Uh, so this is one of the clip-on, uh, the rear-view mirror car cameras. A camera front and back, and yes, it does still work. And uh, I might have a couple superficial scratches on the mirror, uh, but it's, uh, it's operational. So um, there's some things I don't like about this camera, but it's uh, obviously very durable. It survived the, uh, the heat, of, heat of the California summer, and... Um, in my car accident. So I think there's no excuse not to have a car camera. As I said before in my other videos, it's um, very good to have in a self-defense situation, um, road rage, someone comes up to your car, tries to do something to you, um, you know, you can't, um, you can't go flying off the handle um, unless you're threatened with bodily harm. So great bodily harm. So um, that's why a car camera is very useful. And if you can't afford one like this, then you can get um, a suction cup camera for as little as $40. So, um, you know, there's no excuse. Um, so I think you should go out and get one right away to protect yourself. You know, it will protect yourself in a variety of ways, and I think it's as important as anything else in your self-defense uh, repertoire. So. Um, I think that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, stay safe out there. And especially if you're driving on a two-lane uh, road with no divider, I suggest you drive the speed limit. Um, yeah, fortunately I, I was. And uh, um, if I was driving 10 miles an hour faster, you know, who knows what would have happened. So drive safe. Trick 72 out.